I don't regret as such because I think it had to be tried. How long it should have been tried and with what effort it should have been tried is a different issue. I mean, I must say that in Dr. Manmohan Singh, we had a pretty good peacemaker because he was somebody who was born in Pakistan who had a genuine fellow feeling uh, for people there. Uh, let's face it, if you are going to see uh, the Pakistani attitude to India as impelled by a dislike of Hindus, well, Manmohan Singh is not a Hindu. So that too could have been perhaps a positive factor in, in, in facilitating dialogue from his side. And as you know, the so-called back channels actually worked rather well in coming up towards um, towards um, uh, some sort of formula that perhaps might have worked. Uh, I've had Pakistanis uh, say that, um, that indeed the back channel was close to a solution until Mr. Musharraf lost the political power in uh, Pakistan to sell it to the military. And when his own position became weak, the thing went down the tubes, but till then a solution was likely. Mr. Kasuri's book has outlined it. So in all these ways, I think that um, uh, Mr. Manmohan Singh's efforts in UPA um, were worth backing, but with obviously some degree of skepticism about sincerity on the other side. And in any case, uh, that has now foundered, so it's time to try something different. But, well, I think uh, the Congress Party has not endorsed war or anything like that. What the Congress Party has endorsed is one specific action. Um, and I think this is normal to stand behind your government at a time of stress like this. It's striking that the same thing has happened in Pakistan, as I've frequently predicted it would, that every time there's an attack from India, however small or big, that immediately they'd be rallying around the flag. And all the opposition parties, which had been so critical of Nawaz Sharif, from Imran Khan's party to Bilawal Bhutto's uh, PPP, have immediately started saying that um, we are with the prime minister, we are with the country, etc., uh, against Indian aggression and this kind of talk. I mean, this is natural. Uh, the same thing happens in our country and it happens there. So I don't think that on an issue of national security you're going to see much difference unless there is a case in which um, uh, the Congress party has any reason to believe that the government has gone too far or acted too irresponsibly or said the wrong things or done so for blatantly political, domestic political motives and so on. And none of which in this case apply.